All right, it is time for another Squirtle. So this is weekly Squirtle number six. All right, so if you're not familiar with Squirtle, basically we're just guessing 10 words in a sort of crossword type grid. And the colors in the logo over here should help you figure out what the clues mean. So red means it's in the column, yellow means it's in the row, orange means it's in the row and the column, etc. Let's see, what should we start with today? Um, Oh, I had a suggestion, uh, just was looking at it. Oh, place, trunk, and fishy was a suggestion for three starting words, so let's try that today. Place, ooh, okay, two greens. Uh, trunk, okay, that wasn't great. And fishy, okay, ooh, lots of grays, okay. So, um, let's see, I'm gonna hide my duplicate black clues. I know there's a way in the settings to tell it to hide duplicates. I never remember to do that until I've already started and whatever. All right, so let's see, Where? what do we want to do now? We've got I and S in here and an A. Okay, so mm, it could be something like a side. Seems decent. See, there's an, yeah, there is an E in this bottom row, so that's possible. Now there's a K, which is interesting. We don't have Ks very often. It can't be second, and it can't be fourth because of the white K up here. Now K here seems good after the C. This would be a word that starts with K. It could be KN. There is an N in this column, something like need. Could be good. I think that's is that A D or E E. I can't remember, remember if that's two E's or an E A, but that would be good. Uh, oh, and I just realized. So I was thinking S I here. The, there is an I in this row, so that would be good too. Okay. Now N here might be good. We've got an N in the column and in the row. Of course, I'm thinking N down here, so it's not necessarily N there. But that's a possibility, at least. Uh, let's see, so what do we want, if this is a D, what do we want to do for this fourth row and column? Something that ends in an A would be good. So something, we don't need the C. We don't need to use the C, we've already got the C. So something with a D third and an A fifth is what I want to guess. Now, is there anything else I want to do? We could do... Oh wait, we're on this. We're on this row. Never mind. <laughs> I was looking at the last column. We're on the the fourth column here. So what do we know? What do we know? Anything? Uh, there's an I somewhere. Yeah, we don't know much. All right. So basically, we just need anything with a D and an A. Maybe some new letters would be good. Uh, we haven't used an O yet. Okay. Well, the only thing with an O and a D and an A that I can think of is vodka. But I don't think I want to guess something with a V at this point. I do want to do an O. Alright, I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do media. And then maybe my next guess I can use an O. So, let's go with media. Ooh, okay. That worked out really well. Okay, so, this is a D. Um, uh, so, oh, there's an A. So this this is an A, 100%, right there, because of the yellow A there. So cedar, cedar, I think. Probably something else it could be, but I think cedar is pretty good there. R D seems like a good. Now this is not need. Interesting. M D A uh, modal. That could work. Now, if this is K... Ah, 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 ah. Yes. Nelt. Nelt. RT is also good. Yeah. Okay. And we need to have an E. Oh, so this is... This... I mean, it's probably an E. If this is RT, then this has to be an E because of the red E up there. And it can't be second because of this E. So something ERT and IDE. This is all looking good. And SO seems reasonable. Okay, so lots of good things here. So knelt, I think is pretty good. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go for knelt. I like that because I think this that's I think that's probably what the bottom word is, and I also think there's an E in the third position on this word, so let's go with that. Okay, it was knelt. Ooh, there's an N up there. Awesome. So this could be inert. 
That would be good. AMI is interesting. This ends in a CK. Could we do... Hmm. Maybe an O here? Oxide? Ooh. This is probably not an N, then. What if that's an I? This could be Vixen. Hmm. I don't know if I like that up here, though. Hmm. Yeah, maybe not Vixen. Maybe not Oxide. Let's get rid of some of these. I still think... I still like Inert, though. I think Inert's pretty good there. So what's this gonna be? Something something A-M-I? Something like... Miami, but you can't have an I second, and that's a proper noun anyways. Swami? I mean, that's possible, I guess. This could be shock. Waxen? Waxen, I believe, is a word. But hasn't? No, I'm not liking some of these. Oh, there's no H. There's no H. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not, it's not shock. Uh, it can't be stock, because the T. It can't be... Smock and Mason. Now it's starting to look decent. Okay. So, I think... Let's see, can we do the S, W, O, and I? Because I don't need to do the A. Yeah, I don't know if there's any words that that works with. So let's do... Which one do we want to do? I think I'm going to do Swami. I'm going to go with that. Okay, it was Swami. Alright, very interesting. Now, let's see. Next one, we need to do the A, X, and the A... So let's do... Let's do Mason. Uh, yeah. Mason. Because that's going to get us the most new letters, basically. That's kind of my theory. Okay. It's Mason. Alright, so I think these are all going to be correct then. Um, and then we can do Oxide. Yup. And then we need to just do these last two letters. So we can just do Cedar and that'll finish it off with seven guesses remaining. So um, pretty good this week. Uh, some interesting words. I'm going to put uh, definitions up there for several of them because I'm sure some people don't know what Swami and Waxen and maybe even Smock and Modal and Mason potentially. Some people might not know what a Mason is. I mean, I think most of these words probably a lot of people know, but um, definitions for a whole bunch of them over there because I'm sure some of you won't know some of those definitions, but very cool, very interesting puzzle. So I noticed, uh, so in the past, with our uh, weekly squirtles, it feels like there's been more sort of repetition between a row and a column. Sort of like in a side and oxide, we have the IDE, IDE. But there's a little bit less of the, that this time because like XEN and SON and DAL and DAR, so there's a little bit of that, but it feels like there's less of that this week than usual. So that's kind of cool. So very interesting. There you go. Let me know how you did with this weekly Squirtle. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. I'm gonna go ahead and guess Mocha. I like that guess. Oh, it's Mocha. And the A is green over here. Ha <laughs> ha. Ooh, ooh, you know what we could do? Khaki. That would be really good with a double K. If the O isn't second, it has to be last, but that seems less likely. So C-O something S-E. Uh, oh, Barcelona. We're in Barcelona. Okay, so we are in Spain. There you go.